The actual battery capacity of the Galaxy Note 20 has been revealed, and it's bigger than was earlier stated. I am Keno, and this is Encore Tech. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get more tech-related videos. This video is sponsored by TechScore. If you want an amazing platform where you can shop your favorite gadgets and get amazing deals, cashback points, and awesome prizes, then go online to tech-score.com. It's absolutely free to register. I'll put a link to their website in the description below. So, the launch of the Galaxy Note 20 series is just a few months away, and we already know a couple of things about the devices. There's gonna be two variants, a 6.42 inch regular Note 20 and a 6.87 inch Note 20 Plus. The Note 20 Plus is gonna be the only one to use the new LTPO 120Hz display, which is said to improve battery performance by up to 20%. The base Note 20 is gonna use the regular LTPS display and it's gonna be limited to 60 Hz. And previous rumors claim that the battery capacity was gonna be 4000 mAh. But according to a new certification, it's gonna be 4300 mAh, which is the same as the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. And this is quite a significant upgrade over last year's Galaxy Note 10 that had a meager 3500 mAh capacity. But the downside is, there's only gonna be a 200 mAh difference between the two devices. So I wouldn't really expect much of a difference in real-life battery performance. The Note 20 series are also going to be powered by the new Exynos 992, which was previously rumored to be made with the 6 nanometer process. But now, it seems it's actually made on the new 5 nanometer process. But, Samsung's mobile division has not decided whether or not to use the chipset. I say they use it, because the Exynos 990 does not stand a chance against the Snapdragon 865, while the Exynos 992 might just be better, because it uses the new newly announced ARM Cortex-A78 cores, which is said to be 20% more powerful than the ARM Cortex-A77. And on the GPU side, it also uses the new Mali G76 GPU, which is 25% more powerful than the one on the Exynos 990. So, if Samsung uses this chipset on the Exynos 992, it might just beat the Snapdragon 865 in performance. According to Galaxy Club, the regular Note 20 is gonna be offered in grey, green, and copper, while the Galaxy Note 20 Plus is gonna be offered in just black and copper. Now, the Aura Glow and the Deep Sea Blue were the favorite colors of the Galaxy Note 10 series, so I really don't know why they would kill those colors. Let me know in the comment section below your favorite color of the Galaxy Note 10. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video and if you want to get more tech related videos then definitely subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos thanks for watching guys see you in the next one